Hi, Julie. We're here at Prior Lake where the DNR is advising boaters to slow down within 150 feet of the shoreline. Now at other lakes throughout the metro area, there is no wake allowed throughout the whole entire lake. And this is all because of high water levels. At Long Lake, oh, yeah. you won't find anyone more excited to be out on the water <laughs> than Riley Cole. Oh man, I love it. I love it. That's my passion. His first time on a boat since last year. Excitement aside, his first thoughts here. No, it's extra high, man. It's like that everywhere, almost at every lake, too. With high water levels, the city posted slow, no wake signs this week. No need to remind Riley. You're not trying to speed out here. No wake signs are popping up at several lakes across the metro area. At a busy prior lake. A lot of the lakes statewide are seeing really high levels of water since the uh, open water occurred. Mike Lurchin with the DNR is here to remind folks the damage wake from boaters can cause with high water levels. It impacts the habitat, it impacts wildlife. Even at Prior Lake, he says boaters should go slow, close to the shoreline. That wake that the boat creates is going to have an impact on the shoreline and people's uh, property like docks and, and things like that. So the message here. That we're trying to have boaters own their wake and what that means is boaters are mindful of uh, the wake that their boat creates. Something Riley will keep in mind. Just happy to be out here. And if the fish is biting, it's a piece of heaven. <laughs> and another safety reminder from the DNR for boaters, there is high, fast water out there, so there could be debris submerged within that water. So boaters definitely need to be on the lookout for that as well.